How to utilize dragons that are too small to ride in warfare. Dragons in my setting are significantly smaller and less physically powerful than most depictions. The large males reach about 100 kilograms and just over 2 meters tall. This means that they absolutely cannot carry a full-grown man in the air for any appreciable distance. But despite their more subdued size they are still extremely deadly animals. They are extremely strong and fast on the ground, powerful jaws, a killing claw on each foot and of course fire. They are a highly intelligent animal, akin to a grey parrot or elephant, but they definitely aren't the intellectual equals of humans and can't speak. Humans are able to tame but not domesticate them due to their imprinting instinct as chicks, and that they are easily bribed with food and shiny objects, the value doesn't matter, they just love shiny due to supernormal stimulus. So how could people use dragons for warfare that they can't fly into battle on and that aren't as intelligent as humans? Edit notes. The technology level is roughly equivalent to Europe and the Near East in the 13th century. This means the dragons have to deal with longbows, crossbows, and the occasional cannon. This is Lord Mountjoy Cookfong Winterfirth IV, the hottest dragon in the city. It could burn your head clean off. Commander Vimes limped forward from the shadows. A small and extremely frightened golden dragon was clamped firmly under one arm. His other hand held it by the tail. The rioters watched it, hypnotized. Now I know what you're thinking, Vimes went on, softly. You're wondering, after all this excitement, has it got enough flame left? And you know, I ain't so sure myself. He leaned forward, sighting between the dragon's ears, and his voice buzzed like a knife blade. What you've got to ask yourself is, am I feeling lucky? Guards, guards. Terry Pratchett. You've got what amounts to a mobile supernatural flamethrower. Of course. There will be warfare applications. It would be limited to about the point where gunpowder started seeing general use on the battlefield, because at that point killing people with small bits of lead is way more efficient, but having an obedient tiger crossed with a flamethrower that can be deployed on the battlefield? You don't need to be able to ride that to make it effective. 